Hey friends, welcome to the Stationery Cafe Happy Hour. This is April from Penguins Creative, and we have Kelly from Kelly Love Letters here with me today. And we're going to talk about all things stationery, um, something new, something that we own, and something in our shopping cart. Hey Kelly, are you are you still melting? <laughs> yes, I, I am actively melting. No, I... I tried really hard at work today to not, like, complain because because <laughs> I was like, you know, it sucks, but what about yesterday and the day before that? That was just terrible. <laughs> Don't you so guys try have to keep AC? Things... Like... We do, but, you know, we have to keep a door open because we want to seem inviting or whatever, and it's like, oh, man, <laughs> I wish we could just close everything off. <laughs> It's you fine. Guys, really, you guys should close the door and tape a piece of paper that says AC inside, and that right? will actually draw people in, right? That's a, that's a very good point. I like where you're going. Because, <laughs> yeah, Portland went up to, like, what, 118, 100. Yeah, you know, I don't really want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> For those who think in Celsius, that's, like, about 40 deuce. 42 43 celsius which is to me growing up in asia i lived in thailand and i've never i don't think i've ever experienced that kind of heat like i i certainly haven't I in mean, my life it's, <laughs> i feel like it is different when you live in the the you know east asia because it's like you know island life where it's super humid and and even if it's not actually up there in the degrees if it's if it's 95 in Tokyo in the summer, you're, like, actually dead. <laughs> I know, because it's, like, 90, 80 to 90, but with, like, 100% humidity. And that and it's feels terrible. like 100-something, right? So, and so since I've had that experience, I kept trying to be like, no, just think about that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and there's worse like, out there. Oh, I, like, I guess it's kind of the same, because it was just so awful to even, like... <laughs> I, like, I went to Starbucks yesterday. That was my only outing all day, was going to Starbucks. <laughs> and it takes me, like, ten minutes to get there in my car. And by the time I actually arrived, that's when my car finally got cool. And I was like, uh. <laughs> so, right. okay, so, April, what are you drinking today? <laughs> Tonight? I'm, I'm trying to be, like, not so boring, but... Instead of orange juice, I got tangerine juice. <laughs> mm, <laughs> a little bit of a twist nice. to my usual drink. And what about you, Kelly? I'm using my stationary cafe mug. Um, and I'm just drinking water. <laughs> <laughs> With ice cubes in it, hopefully, you know. Mm -hmm. That thing keeps drinks cool. Like It does. It's mere, so good. Your mugs are really, really nice in terms of the thermal function thing. Like It keeps my hot drinks hot. And it keeps my cool yes. drinks cool for a long it's time. It's the best. And just so you know, we're kind of trying to have a, a fast recording tonight. But um, I just want to let people know that our uh, Venti subscribers to our page, Patreon, um, I actually did receive the boxes today that we are going to be shipping the mugs out in. So I just have to assemble them and get it together. I'm still not sure about international people. They'll definitely get out, but it might be a different process. But I just thought I'd throw that out there. Nice. <laughs> awesome. I can't wait for everyone else to get them because they are yeah. really, really cool. I've been using they're them so for my good. morning drinks. That's why they're kind of in the washer, in the dishwasher yeah. now. <laughs> Anyway, nice. let's start with new things this week. Um, yeah. I think I'll start, actually, because yeah. I, I came across this and I thought it was really interesting. <laughs> yeah, um, I was, like, very intrigued, and I'm sad that I didn't know about it until this moment. <laughs> so I'm very, very pleased to introduce to you guys another diary journal planner brand called yes. Logical. Um, it's by the brand Nakabayashi. And mm. it, they already came out with the designs for 2022 diary. They're killing it over here. <laughs> so Logico <laughs> is a series where it's actually been eight years old already. So it's been mm -hmm. a while, but we just never really got to them. And I assume they're in Kinokuniya. So Logico is actually known for their intense griddedness <laughs> in their whole layout. Um, because yeah. it's meant for you to easily do graphs and draw figures inside the book. So in it's, there's many layouts. There's like the horizontal layout. There's the vertical layout, like you would think about usual like planners with a different size. Mm -hmm. But 
imagine the grids. So the the horizontal lines are kind of you know they're prominent, but then within each ruled line, there's like two more lines to make it like even more gridded than it、right. already is gridded. I want. I feel like I can't. I can't make it come through through descri- describing, but. As I look at the photos on the website, it's like this intensely tiny, dense grid situation on every single、yeah. page. <laughs> I I would describe it like if if you've ever seen that French ruled paper, that、mm-hmm. they kind of have this these kind of very thin lines.、Mm-hmm. So it's like that, but it's a graph. <laughs> exactly. So you get like on your monthly pages. Obviously, you got like the checkbox and all that stuff. But if within each box. It's heavily gridded to like the tiniest degree, so you can do even small graphs, like draw、yeah. little line <laughs> graphs inside each box, and then that goes the same with like the all the other pages. So, for example, if you have a free note pages, then it's like probably I would even say like two milliliter grid, essentially with like one of the with so that you can really use it to to do trackers or draw stuff and have, be really precise. Um, so I think it's an interesting brand. They have so many different covers. There's a catalog with the designs coming out for 2022, and there's like these cartoony ones with Disney. So you got Winnie the Pooh and like Toy Story, and then you also get like some regular kind of like Japanesey ones as well, and really like classical looking color too. Like there's this color combo that's like chocolate, and the other one is mint. So kind of. If, and the lettering is mint on the chocolate cover, and chocolate、mm. on the mint cover. So kind of having that kind of cute choco chip look.、Um, you gotta love that. But the one I really want to bring up is that this year they came out with like a special kind of cover. They call it Type C, and it's actually antibacterial. <laughs> I, I think that's that is dope as hell. I I think that's amazing Japanese innovation, and of course they would think about that first before after, anyone else. After the pandemic, they're like, yeah, well, they're still kind of in the pandemic,、um, so it's like the cover looks just like the same as the other designs,、uh, the other type, but except. It's just white. It's very like clinical, surgical looking, and the surface of the cover is actually treated with like this agent. It's like a silver-based antibacterial agent that makes it less likely for like germs from your hand to kind of stay on the cover of the book. So you don't have to worry about bringing it to like public places, I guess, if you are using it as such environments. I just think that is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So I was really pleased to find this planner because of the interesting layout, but then also know that they went and did like an antibacterial cover for those who really are, you know, maybe even on a normal year, like people who are more germophobic, like they're kind of,、mm-hmm. kind of particular about like sharing stuff, and so this would, this appeals to a niche、uh, group, but now appeals to the mass. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I before the pandemic, I I didn't really, I mean, I was, I, I consider myself a, you know, a normal cleanly per cle- cleanly. <laughs> I mean, cle- clean person. But、uh, like now, I I just I'm kind of a germaphobe. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine like yeah, you sneeze and you kind of wipe your nose and then you touch your book. I'm looking at all my stationery right now. They probably got all my germs on it. So you know, for a person who particularly wants a very, very clean notebook, here you go. Here's a cover that's treated with. There's like the certification next to the cover.、Design. Yeah, I think that's so neat. It's so it, interesting. It's so cool. It's like what do they call it? SIAA certified、uh-huh. in Japan. <laughs> Yeah, and just for people who are interested in this planner in general, like if you're not interested in the antibacterial, there's other cover designs. It comes in B five, A five, and A six. So kind of in- the common sizes, and the B five being more of a special one because usually people are like. Do you mean the B six? The the antibacterial kind comes with B five. 
Oh, gotcha. A5 and A6. So that's what I meant. And the nice. other sizes, you also have B6 as well. So interesting nice. new planner choice for your upcoming yeah. 2022 Techo Kaigi, <laughs> if you're ever doing one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you're ever doing When are we not doing one, really? <laughs> I'm, I'm speaking to the listeners here. <laughs> okay. I, I feel like they're they're the same type of freaks we are. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your um, new item this week? So I was actually browsing, <laughs> I was browsing jet pens slightly at work today, just, just so you know, I'm calling myself out. <laughs> um, hey, I see it as like market research, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so um, I came across uh, Ray May, our beloved Ray May that does these, um, um, my, my wonderful clam, clamshell case that's pink and lays my fountain pens horizontally. Mm -hmm. all together in a big heap which drives people crazy <laughs> <laughs> so ray may came out with this thing called the is it debt de cool pen de case debt cool <laughs> um i'm trying to figure out what that is supposed to mean in japanese <laughs> uh and i don't know but it's like a standing it reminds me of what do they call those um those school elementary school bags for japanese kids the the r word something ron rondo seru rondo seru okay yeah uh -huh. yeah it's it reminds me of that just because it's like it's got a straight back and then it has this kind of curved front where the mm -hmm. zippers are mm -hmm. and it looks like you can zip up there's two it's like two parallel zippers and you zip up right and you and you get the um you get this pen case. It's kind of like a pen stand that, mm -hmm. like, comes out. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making any sense right now. <laughs> I think it's more like, you know those candy places? And then they usually, you pick pick by the bulk, like bulk candy. And yes. then you usually open the drawer and it kind of, like, is, is hinged at the bottom. So the whole thing kind of opens up and you, like, shovel yes, candy from those drawers. That's exactly... <laughs> That's exactly what it's like, except it's for your pens. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> My first impression was like, oh, it looks like an elevator. And then like... <laughs> it, does, it does look like... <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, it reminds me of an elevator. Or do you mean escalator? Or something like that. Yeah, like it's elevator, so escalator. It, it looks like the shaft, like... The it whole <laughs> pen is like a shaft, right, for an elevator. And I'm pretty sure the listeners right now are like, what are you saying confused. right now? <laughs> but you know that trendy thing where people buy a lot of pens, like either like Muji or like Copic markers and like Tombow mm -hmm. markers, and they it, it's those acrylic stands where it kind of tilts at an angle, and all the yes. pens like kind of slot on it neatly towards yeah. you and like so people would pick it up easily so this is like that but fabric <laughs> but fabric and it's like it stands on its own yeah. and you can get the normal size or you can get what's called the mobile size that's like a couple dollars cheaper and it's uh I guess it's slightly slimmer than the the big version. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I I feel like they're gonna sell out of these because they're so interesting and uh, I don't know. I I would buy one just so I can experiment with it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the the mobile version is slimmer. I see. Yes. Yeah. Got yeah. it. So it's more mobile. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it's funny. So you just. You basically had a standing, it's a standing pen case wherever you go, yeah. but like the pens tilt towards you so you can get it easily instead of, you know, usually you have to look at it from the top, I guess. Exactly. See, yeah. it's all about, there's more of that innovation going on. <laughs> <laughs> Convenience. That's all stationery yes. is about these days. Like, how can we make the user's <laughs> life easier? <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're figuring that out. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need to figure out what Dete cool means. I, I'm sure we do. I'm sure we're pronouncing it wrong. Like I'm imagining it in Japanese, like pronunciation. Maybe it's like DT cool or something. Oh, like I thought that. it was like Dete Kuru or something. Oh, maybe <laughs> you know, dete. like I don't know what de I don't know what Dete means though. <laughs> or maybe it's a pun on like de Dete Kuru if that's like a <laughs> verb or something. I, mm. I'm sorry if I'm offending somebody right now <laughs> by not knowing. <laughs> Japanese. Leave it in the comments if you figure it out. <laughs> On Instagram, by the way. That's where we yes. post our posts. 
So that's a cool product. I'm, yeah. I'm, I I have so much pancake still, so I can't buy another <laughs> yeah. one unless it's also, really, really cool. <laughs> yeah, I have I have quite a few myself. This is only <laughs> Dete cool. It's not very, very cool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Had to slip that oh in there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. So this week, my product, I... April. Did a, oh, my God. I'm looking at it right now. Holy... <laughs> I did a little so shopping at a blank oh. note in person <laughs> because we had a meetup over the weekend. And Nina's like, hey, what should I bring to the meetup? And I'm like, hold up. Let me go check your site right now. <laughs> oh, wow. Huge restock. <laughs> and so I, I found myself with a set of this beautiful transfer paper, transfer sticker by some sort of fern. I think I talked about him already. It's kind of like that really collage style and mm -hmm. he, I think she designs these uh, beautiful illustrations um, and it comes in various sets but this one really is reminiscent of like I think Mr. Eggplants Mr. Eggplants a little <laughs> bit like Taiwanese aesthetics like there's this black cat kind of in between all the kind of architectural and like mosaic looking design so it's just gonna look great in my thinking of you so <laughs> I, I got oh. that and also I can I just I, I just noticed on a blank note uh it's their fifth birthday and get our exclusive sticker sheet by purchasing over six to eight dollars plus domestic free shipping i got a sticker too from them oh my god so nita, wait i need to switch back to the cat wait show me what <laughs> nita designed some of it herself and then the other is they commissioned another artist to do it so it's a combo um so yeah you do get a sticker sheet by buying cute oh my god tier. stop that's so cute okay I have to do some shopping on a blank note. It's no, super thanks. cute. And by the way, <laughs> sneakily, we are also letting a blank note sell some of our stationery cafe coaster. So uh, go nice. grab them before they're out because there's not that much on there. <laughs> nice. That's so cool. Sorry, I interrupted. I just wanted to like point that out because I thought that was cool. <laughs> I know. So that's, that's the whole thing. They have like the fifth anniversary big shop update. And then I bought... Something new from a new creator called Tomato Nasu. <laughs> that's is, why I, that says that on the tea bag. <laughs> <laughs> which is like a combo of like tomato and like eggplant, tomato nasu. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Right, nasu is like eggplants, right? I think or, nasu, nasu is eggplant. Yeah. So, and so it's really cute. Oh. And I bought this cute stamp with like a I sheep. Kind of just I literally can't lounging in like a tea mug with like the tea bag kind of hanging out like you know the paper tag so this could like I imagine this to be me during this really hot day like in a pool but it's except yes. in a pool of tea and I feel like this is very applicable to either it being a hot tea or a cool tea like the way yes. the sheep lounges in the mug is just so relaxing I'm just like I actually used it over the weekend it's, it's like, so cute. I, like, I'm obsessed with it. I think I have to have that too. <laughs> and there's okay. another one where the sheep is like, it's like it's a the long bag. stamp. Yeah, the sheep is the bag with the tea, the tea label. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Attached to it. So those two I things. Need to look, I need to look into this creator more because this is like my style. <laughs> <laughs> and there's another set that the creator design which is like a bunch of bears like black bears and there's this one that's just reclining with a bubble tea in his arm super cute <laughs> is it actually is it actually a photograph of you april <laughs> <laughs> i'm not a bear but i i can i can I can relate to the bubble tea. And then there's this other one where <laughs> this white bear is like staring into a laptop and then sipping like a tiny, tiny cup of espresso. It's so funny. And he's like, That's he has me. like a, a fancy bow tie. Anyway, <laughs> super cute. <laughs> These animals oh are so good. <laughs> I just, I love the kind of simplistic, like, just because this, this tea, this tea sheep bag thing is just. <laughs> So simple. He doesn't even have a face, but he's so cute. <laughs> it's those he looks like a yeah. It's those sheep like that's like black, and then like the hair is white, so it's got that mm -hmm. whimsical element into it. So <laughs> anyway, and uh, so, so check cute. those out on a blank note because I already partaked in <laughs> the launch and sale. <laughs> yes. Nice. 
And you, what what do you have for us this week? Um, so I, this is also <laughs> we're not carrying the metal ablation yet, but um, we actually got a couple of free samples today, and Jennifer was like, "Oh, Kelly, you can have one of them," and I'm like, "Oh, okay." So <laughs> so of course I took one. Uh, so I'll I'll take it out of its little plastic sleeve thing, but it's it's the brand Kunisawa, which I I seem to remember. A certain CY maybe talking a little smack about. <laughs> I'm just going to call him out right now. So um, it's got this nice matte black. It's a notebook. Um, mm-hmm. And it's really similar size and shape to the like Kokuyo. Mm-hmm. Th- those field note notebooks. The sketch um, note is what they call it, or, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, and it also has similar like gridding. Oh, like, like really, super- really tiny fine grids yeah two, and two the, point the and papers and the paper's really smooth it also does really well with fountain pen because i wrote in it a little bit already oh is it with I... fool's paper like the oh maybe it is i'm on jet pen and it looks it says it's like fool's cap paper mm. oh maybe that's why it's so good then because i think kunisawa note I feel like they used to have not that good paper and maybe they upgraded because I love this. I think it takes fountain pen wonderfully and um, for part of the free samples was this A5 size notebook with a William Morris pattern on it mm. and Jennifer was like, I like this one. I'm like, obviously you're the boss so you get the best one. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, yeah. it's like, it's really pretty and they... Um, you know, it's sleek, black, and they they have this little logo. Mm, the little and birdie. It's actu- yeah, yeah, it's actually a three-legged crow. <gasps> oh. And, and he's called Yatagarasu, um, <laughs> which I guess the... So he has three legs, and it, they represent heaven, earth, and humanity, his legs, I guess. <laughs> and, Interesting. Uh, we use Yatagarasu as a symbol of casting a bright light on the future and inspiring the world. And I was like, oh, that's adorable. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, I just, it also has these really nice, like, gil- slightly gilded edges. Gilded edges. Nice. That's very luxurious looking. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's very, like, matte and feels good. And I, I just think it's cool that um we may or may not be ordering these. So, oh, and it's called... Find smart note is what the the label says on the side. Nice. It looks just, it looks I, different than the one I on just Jet checked, <laughs> and it's definitely using the OK Fools yes. paper. Which you is, know that's Nita's that's Nita's favorite. That's her favorite. I was about <laughs> to say she went to uh, what's that place in Japan where um, you can try out the inks? Kakitori. Yeah, Kaki, Kaki, Ka- Kakimori. I Kakimori, think. right? It? Yeah. And then you can like test out paper and make your own like kind of like notebooks because cause you can like buy notebooks over there. And so she tested out a bunch of them and she ended up really liking OK Fools because it's very fountain pen friendly. And it's really nice. So it looks like Kunisawa uses that. So that's cool. Awesome. I think they definitely stepped up their game. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, CY, for talking bad about <laughs> Or maybe oh. that's just not good <laughs> enough for him too because he really likes the TRP. <laughs> So I also I also didn't point out on the the end papers are like a dark gray and then it has this what does it say I do not seek I find mm. it says that and I think it's it might actually be letter pressed wow no I don't fancy. know it, fe- it it feels fancy so you know if you're looking for a a fancy fancy note don't see check them out fine <laughs> <laughs> there you go nice. <laughs> Bringing it back around. I, I'm just doing this all day. <laughs> Maybe because I'm too hot right now. Uh, I'm I'm also very warm. I don't like it. <laughs> so let's 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 go through it faster. I guess um, yeah. today um, I want to talk about something I want, but apparently yes. it's like already dropped, and I don't know if there's any left. Oh, there's still some left. But okay, cool. Arch and Olive um, had a collab release with 
plant-based bride. Um, I, I did freak out about that, too. <laughs> I follow her on Instagram. She's a great bullet journaler. And she does this really pretty, like, minimalistic but artistic style with her spreads. And so it's really neat. And then I guess they kind of went with the whole, like, vegan, like, plant theme and just went all green um, with, like, a, a, a accent color of this tomato red together. And so it's just obviously directly straight to my preference here. So not only are the notebooks, you know, this beautiful olive, darker olive green and the light olive green, there's that orange I mentioned, and then a brown, but the set of acrylograph pens that they kind of paired it with. Ooh, oh, and I you love. have to buy them together. I love those green colors, though. There's like... Yeah, they're, they're so beautiful. <laughs> There's four shades of green in this one. one one's kind of like an ochre, but I still think of it as green next to the green. And then like with mm-hmm. the tomato red as the accent color. I'm, I'm like not too big of a fan with acrylograph pen. I mean, I have them, but I don't reach for them often. Yeah, but same. <laughs> <laughs> like they're just kind of sitting in their case right now um, underneath my desk. But um, I still really like this color combo. And I don't know if I already like if I've already used up all my dark red notebooks right now, like in a heartbeat. I no no hesitation to buy it. LOL. <laughs> However, <laughs> <laughs> I've been through like I think one or two of their mystery packs, so I have still a few books laying around. Um, so I I can't really <laughs> indulge and get like another full A five dark red notebook. So I I might have to. Um, kind of hold off on that and maybe hope that these make it into one of those mystery packs in the future (laughs) yes well and didn't did she also collab with this sunset brown b5 size or is that a just another release maybe that's just another new release the sunset brown is part of the collaboration yes okay yeah Yeah. so there's like sounds sunset brown and then there's also the sunrise orange and then the olive branch so yeah they're they're so pretty and i i do love that they have a um the linen cover option Mm -hmm. or sorry the the linen cover um the faux leather the faux leather because that's the one my my cat my black cat with the black paper is and i Mm -hmm. really prefer that feeling to the linen because i feel like the linen gets all my pet hair all over (laughs) Oh, that's true. It gets gritty very easily if you like smear something on it, but it feels so luxurious. It, do, it does feel nice. I can't. I can't. I, I actually prefer the linen one. Oh, okay. Well, we're we're the perfect pair then. On, the, on two ends again. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's I'm just something I want. You know, I feel like I can talk about it, but I don't have to get it. But totally. I do want it, but. I also don't need it, so I'm. I feel confident about my self control this time around. <laughs> nice. So, what about you? <sighs> well, um, so, so this is the fault of paper treats. Uh, <laughs> Again, that, that we all who we all know and love. Um, she f- featured. Um, she occasionally will feature people on her Instagram, and by feature, I mean just like post a like a story on Instagram and say, Hey, this person is awesome. (laughs) You should check out the shop. And she did this with a shop called stitchy girl on Etsy. Mm. And her tagline here is cute plush and illustrations. So she also, she makes Mm. plush plushies and she also Mm. makes stickers. She doesn't have a ton on her shop right now, but what she does have is adorable. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I don't know if y'all, uh, uh, you know, read manga in, I don't know what, like 2007 or whatever, like I did when Fruits Basket came out in uh, English. Um, April, were you a fruit? Were you a Fruits Basket girl? I, I've read some of it. I, I, I don't think, I don't remember me myself finishing it. Oh my gosh. But then remembering myself coming back to it because everyone like yes. raves about fruits basket okay so were, were yeah. you a kyo girl or a yuki girl <laughs> <laughs> i think i like yuki a oh my god <laughs> i loved kyo i had one of those wristbands from hot topic that said i heart kyo on it because <laughs> i was i was i not... used to always go for like the more quiet looking like the the, the little 
withdrawn type when it comes to the guys in the comic. <laughs> yeah, this I feel like anyway. I feel like that tells a lot about both of us, but <laughs> If you know what we're talking about, you it, IYKYK, right? So so she she made like uh, a sheet of fruits basket mood stickers. So there's the like the three main characters are represented by a cat, a rice ball and a rat, <laughs> which doesn't doesn't make sense unless you know the series. And so like each like there's like a cat face that's happy, angry, sad and whatever and like the rice Aww. ball and the rat, they all I just thought it was super adorable. Um, that is cute. <laughs> and she has a couple Pokemon stickers and some like kawaii candy cat stickers. That's like Jap- <laughs> Japanese candies as cats, I guess. <laughs> oh, I see the strawberry. Yes. Kind of like the mushroom. The, thi- not the mushroom. It's kind of like that little cone. Yes, thing. the Apodo. Yeah, Apodo. <laughs> that's like my favorite cute. Japanese candy. Yeah. And like little cat, cat that. three color dongo, and like cat ramen a, ah. it's like super cute. Anyway, the high chew. <laughs> I I have not purchased from her, but I I do intend to because they're adorable. <laughs> it is really cute, and now I want to go back and finish. Fruits you basket. definitely should. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like. Around that time of the year, I had a lot of competing comics that came out that oh. I am obsessed about. So I don't, I feel like I probably didn't finish this one because I was reading Hunter x Hunter or something like that. Oh my like god, that. you were reading <laughs> that? <laughs> hey, I love Hunter x Hunter. <laughs> shonen trash? What? I'm very shonen when I'm very, when I'm young. Like I'm, I'm actually, I got into like the, the girly comics when I was a little bit That's older, so but when funny. I was like middle school, I'm just like shonen all the way. I, Give me all those violent, like victorious type. That's comic. so funny. I mean, the, the only shonen I liked probably ever was like Inuyasha, but I feel like that's kind of a, that rides the line of being shonen because it's like, I don't think Kagome, Inuyasha. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're having a weeb yeah. conversation right now, but I, I, I fully own that I am that person, so it's fine. And the fact that I understand all that you said <laughs> kind of says that I'm also that person, but I don't show it well. Like I, I keep it very hidden. Oh my gosh! Okay, tell in the comments, but uh, we don't have comments below. Tell or maybe we do on YouTube. Tell us your favorite. On Instagram. T- tell us your favorite anime. <laughs> yes, that will be my question for this week, I guess. Nice. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> well, finally, usually we wrap up the episode. Oh, this is so sorry, guys. This is a short one because we're both so hot. But yes. <laughs> we want to talk about some things that we usually talk about things that are like cute, new, but like we won't necessarily get. And for once, I'm here saying I'm not getting this from Furukawashiko. Oh my gosh. Although I did get all the other ones. But <laughs> oh my Like God. this particular one. I'm not surprised I'm at like all. not. I'm not that interested, but like they came out with these limited edition shiny washi tape, which means like foiled, I guess. Like they're all foiled designs. Mm-hmm. And so I was putting together a card on oh. Cute Things from Japan. And like, you know, I don't feel the urge to add them. Like each of the design is cute, but I just feel like it would look kind of out of place on my spread because my spreads kind of got like this more matte color Mm -hmm. going, like the whole color cohesiveness. Like the cats are cute, but I have a lot of cat stationery already. (laughs) Um, The other one called Cat Stream is kind of (laughs) freaky. Like it kind of (laughs) weirded me out a little bit. You mean another washi? (laughs) Yeah, the, the other washi tape called Cat's Dream uh, of the same series. So there's, like, it's a series of washi tape that's all, like, the Furukawashiko design, but, like, foiled, essentially. For some reason, so, I didn't see the Cat's Dream one. You'll have to go I, to Furukawa Paper yeah, oh, and, like, scroll down. Furukawa Paper, oh, okay. There's Ch- a bunch of new washies. I know. I'm, I was gonna. Oh no! Come on! Can you guys stop taking my money? <laughs> well, oh, like I was saying, okay. I'm not that interested in these <laughs> because oh. my attention was definitely drawn to the one you're about to mention, oh, my which is. <laughs> oh gosh! So I, of course, I immediately looked into because okay, Furukawa paper is just 
continues to just kill it every time and they should stop but also they shouldn't so <laughs> so i wanted to talk about this choky choky paper set cats mm-hmm. and when it says paper set it means that there's 20 sheets of paper six designs in different sizes so it's not it's not a letter set it's literally just like different papers like to collage a with a set of paper yes and there's cute cats all over the place and it's my life it's everything i want and that's the end of the story <laughs> it's like furukawa knows us you know the fact that we exchange happy mail to each other and putting in little things we call ephemera yeah. which is like literally small pieces of memo notes from different places and kind of curate it into a little bundle so they did that for us yeah i, th- I think it's <laughs> yeah. amazing and it's only six fifty. Wow, we should just order everything. And then they did make letter sets too, and those are really cute. And it's like, oh, like come on. I know. So this series is called Choki Choki, which means like snip snip in Japanese. Oh, that's cute. So they they meant for you to kind of like take these little paper and then just kind of like cut them into shapes or like you know, tear them into different interesting big pieces and decorate your pages so i feel like essentially scrapbooking yes but in a very small and condensed kind of package that's more convenient for on-the-go journaling that's because right. you can't take those big like 10 by 10 like paper you get at michael's or whatever and take them on the go and these right. are the quality furukawa shiko uh, paper which is like the thin like japanese paper right so yeah. very thin very like I guess I want to say like high quality. Yeah, no, it's so much better than something at Michael's. Than than cardstock, which is usually the other type of scrapbooking um, um, material. Not that that's not, it's just different materials, I guess. Yeah. It's for different purposes. So I think even one of them might be a sticker sheet or something, or maybe not. But I remember going on to Furukawa papers instagram and then they did instagram live on this set and i just went crazy and that was like a few weeks ago (sighs) and they were demoing how you can take the smaller sheets and use it in the monthly section the bigger sheet use it on like the daily pages like a memo note and then you can cut out the shapes of the cats or something like that and use that as like an individual sticker so it just kind of makes me want to Super cry, cute. honestly, because it's Adorable. So, so cute. Okay, and can I just call April out right now? She said she didn't like the Cat's Dream foil washi tape. That's so cute. What? What's wrong <laughs> with it? It's so adorable. It's so weird. The cats are, like, weird. That's, but that's what cats do. <laughs> They're just all over the place. <laughs> I guess I guess it is kind of cute. I guess I looked at it at an angle, which makes you feel like. Eh. But anyway, oh, yeah. I just I just I guess there's just too much great things in that release that this one didn't tempt me that much. Well, and like the the but. cat memo pad that's like sitting on the TV. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit retro, a little <sighs> bit like cute. So I guess that's just what Furukawa Shiko does. You didn't even mention so. the melon soda stuff. <laughs> I'm like a little bit melon soda fatigue right now. Like they do, they keep coming out with those, yeah. and I feel like it's never ending. It really I remember is. How, <laughs> remember how I we talked about it last week? How uh, Bungu Joshi Petite in Nagoya is like retro cafe thing. Yes, yes. So I'm just kind of priming myself to be bombarded by like tons of melon soda things coming out soon from all of these brands. So that's fair. I'm, I'm on a cool <laughs> down right now <laughs> with the melon soda. So anyway, that's pretty much it for this week. However, we do want to add in two little shout outs oh, yes. for our Venti patrons. Um, why don't you start with Nikki? Sure. So Nikki wanted to say, I just want to thank April, Kelly and Phyllis for working so hard to bring us listeners such a fun way to learn about new things in the stationary world but also just a great conversation to listen to about planners and all things I love so much. There is nothing else I've found that comes close to the stationery cafe. Thank you. That's really sweet. That's honestly all I want to do is just bring stationery to people. (laughs) Obviously. (laughs) What am I doing here? (laughs) (laughs) 
it's funny today i was telling kelly huh maybe I, we should like skip this week it's so hot and i just kind of have a lot to do but then i also have a lot to talk about <laughs> like, yeah. if we wanted to so we just did it anyway because it's just essentially kelly and i catching up on stage yes exactly <laughs> enabling each other a little bit yes <laughs> a lot sorry of course all the bits <laughs> and then Thank you, Holly, from Holly Fox Letters. She says, I like to thank Chris Evans for introducing me to the podcast and this lovely stationary community. Yay! Yay. Yay, Chris, too. She is featured and that's actually one of my first guests mm. on the Stationary Cafe podcast. And we talk about snail mail, which she does really, really well. I remember so that episode. <laughs> I'm really happy about the circle yes. meeting Holly because Holly is so active on Twitch. Um, and in our in our community and commenting and chatting with us all the time. So thank you, Holly, for, for supporting us on the Station Cafe. And of course, thank you to every other people who didn't really have a specific shout out they wanted to say. We appreciate you for supporting us. And it's been two months and it's been amazing. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's kind of crazy. April and I are starting. We, we were talking about our July schedule for Patreon and it's just very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, this is the Stationery Cafe Happy Hour. This is where Kelly and I catch up on stationery news and fun stuff. And we look forward to bringing you another fun one next week. Bye, Kelly. Bye, April.